Okay, so the things I like are the following. Club face, not a problem. That's squared up behind the center of the ball. Lying over the golf shaft is positioned opposite your waist. So position is well there. Club and ball in the middle of your feet. And your feet, hips, and shoulders for the most part are lined up complementary. Main thing is lack of balance. To the, to the point where by having your body weight predominantly on your heels, your head has to be tucked in and chin to your neck. So it limits and restricts room to turn. You can see the stricker here to the right. If you were on the balls of your feet, just shifting your weight more forward, you can actually raise up your chin, still view the ball, and have room. That's also verification that you are balanced when you can do that. Because if you're on your heels and raise your head up, you won't be able to see the ball. Right. Okay. So we need that support in space. We're going to watch you take the club away from the ball now. You can see how the club gets kind of lifted almost outside the ball line. See, it's kind of moving away. Well, it has to do that because when you're on your heels with your weight, your arm has got to go this way to counter yourself, right? So it'll fall over. So the club slides out. Which would tend to make me pull? Absolutely. It's going to pull or, or, or slice one of the two are the options. Then you lift it up. You get in a pretty good position. A little bit of an overswing, which I don't mind. We just want to get rid of that little hitch, and we'll talk about how. On the way back down, the club gets casted or thrown over the top of your body, comes outside the ball line, the club head in front of it, and you cut across on it. So depending on the face angle, pulls or slices. You know, depends on your timing itself. But to have minimized all those issues, better balance, take the club directly back from the ball is a good takeaway trigger with your shoulder turn, not with your arm solely. That'll make it easier to pivot through and have less moving parts to your swing, obviously. That's the goal.